Hi, so welcome to another video. This is again a part two of my yesterday's video when we were trying to build our own open source project, right? And uh, yesterday I had to take a small break. I couldn't complete the open source like project and I couldn't integrate into my app. So today we'll start from where we left off. It's already like 10 a.m. in the morning and I just came from my workouts. Uh, on, on like another note, I want to just highlight like how important it is to start your day with a solid workout by doing some physical activity uh, that boosts and gives a lot of like your mental clarity what you want to do and uh, yeah i want to just share this as one of the productivity hacks if you are thinking uh, things are not aligning or you're not feeling very much motivated uh, going for a run 30 minutes or just lifting weight i think that gives you some sort of like chemicals in your brain which makes you do some hard things on the day so that's what we are going to do let's start our day and resume working on the project so yeah let's start okay so one of the thing which i'm going to do now is uh, integrate that swift compiled file so i'll write some like scripts which will compile those swift files and then can be connected with the js code that's what my task is for the next 25 minutes i'll be starting my sessions app for the 25 minute session and we'll try to wrap this up in 25 minutes that's a deadline i'm setting for myself okay so as you can see the this pink window on my screen that means my session is completed and i extended the session to around 55 minutes and a lot of things have been already done and let me just show you what are the things are completed right let me quickly go through the project structure okay now this is not our project let me just open it here so as you can see, uh, I have created the whole project structure. I have uh, made it like a Swift project as well. In Swift, I have written this file, which AI helped me a lot in recording and stopping it, running it via command line. And then once we compile it, this is the file which is created using a package.json. So this is in package.json. We have this build command, which runs and compiles it. And this file is stored here. Now I have written an index.js which is kind of a wrapper for JavaScript which uh, which is the main file which will help us run this uh, recording and stop it like it interacts with the capture kit uh, binary and then I have also written one example file uh, so the, the main use of this example file is for someone who wants to try it how it would work so as you can see I have written a lot of console logs if you start await like here you can pass on these values for starting recording then after five seconds i am stopping it with stop recording and the output path is created so let me just try to run it like from here i'll just run as you see all our recording will start uh, here it started recording has started now and after five seconds it will just stop automatically it's done. So here now we have an output folder and we can just go here is reveal folder. Here is our file which is recorded. And yeah, so this is the recording which we just did. And I can just close it up. Perfect. So this is all working, but there is one issue right now. Uh, let me just tell you. So the main issue right now is that uh, the output file which has been created due to some meta or I don't know what uh, the data which is being written on it the the if the video is like one minute or less than like 30 seconds but still it's showing in the taskbar that the video is like six hours or ten hours so maybe I'll have to change something on the native file this is one bug in this file another is I have to release it so I can start using it on my project so these are the two issues which I'll be working on in the next session now
okay so i just came home and also while going uh, like outside i got this package i ordered my 3d printer and it's here i have already created like uh, two sample models out of it and uh, right now i'm just learning how to print a custom like a 3d model and that's what being built right now so yeah pretty excited with this 3d printer this was something which i was planning to get for a very long time and finally i have this and uh, yeah i'll be making like i have some very crazy ideas to be built uh, I'll, I'll share more about them and i'll make a very dedicated video explaining why i chose this particular 3d more 3d printer and uh, what can we do with this uh, how it can like it, it's a really good have hobby to have to print these 3d things and i really love it like uh, spending time on building these small projects so not just software product projects i'm like thinking of doing some hardware projects as well in the coming months so yeah regarding my project uh, let me just quickly show you so this is finally up uh, crazy like we have our capture kit live the version 1.0.0 on npm i have just published it in the evening and currently i'm using it in our project it's working fine and uh, like i can now record the screen it's uh, even like stop it from the JS. I tested it in our like integrating it in our Electron app. Let me also show you like this was super crazy, right? Let me show you. So if you go to the package, you can see here I have installed it directly into our package and uh, it's working flawlessly. So both the start recording and the stop recording is working as as expected. So yeah, this was the day and finally our GitHub open source project is live and it's also working on our Electron app. Now the final task is to finish like fix a couple of bugs and maybe release a new version 1.0.1 which will not take much time. A uh, major bug right now is uh, that the output video which is produced, it's working fine but the, the metadata on it is uh, showing it's time to be too much like 5 seconds video is showing 1 hour which technically will not affect anything in our development but obviously we need to fix that so yeah i'll be working on that tomorrow and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching this video uh back to back two videos i'm pretty excited with this and very happy with this 3d printer as well so yeah see you soon and thank you so much bye bye